Hi, my name is Terry Kent, and if you're just learning how to do stand-up paddleboarding, let me give you a quick tip. So new paddleboarders are given this funky-shaped bent paddle, and they can't remember what's the right way to hold it. Now, unfortunately, there's no faster way to identify yourself as an absolute beginner than holding your paddle the wrong way. Now this is a bent shaft paddle and we've been using these in marathon canoe racing for 50 years so they're nothing new and there's a couple reasons why we have them bent and I'm going to show those to you so you can understand what the right way to hold the paddle is. Now when you're paddling there's two big pressure points on your paddle. One at the grip where your hand is holding it and two at the tip of the blade where you're grabbing water. Imagine this paddle, this bent paddle is one big bent loop. Now if you had your hands in front of the ends of that loop and you pulled, you'd expect it to spin around, right? You have a hand in front of the loops and you pull and the thing's going to be unstable, it's going to want to spin. How if you pull with your hand with a loop bent towards you and your hand behind those pressure points, it's going to be very stable. So a bent shaft paddle makes the blade more stable in the water and there's less what we call blade flutter as you're paddling. Right way, wrong way. Right way, wrong way. Another advantage of a bent shaft paddle is the blade is bent forward so when I'm paddling it stays more upright through the stroke which is more efficient in pushing the boat forward when I'm pulling on that blade. If I have it turned the wrong way in the same position and I'm paddling here you can see that when I pull all I'm going to do is lift water. That's the wrong way, obviously. I want to turn the other way and you see how upright my blade stays in the water. That's an advantage of a bent shaft paddle. Right way. Right way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Right way. Now one last advantage of a bent shaft paddle is that when you're reached all the way forward, it gives you a little bit more reach with your blade, which is good. As you can see, the blade's bent forward. I get more reach. If I have the paddle turned the wrong way, it's cut backwards and I get less reach. So bad, good. Bad, good. Wrong way. Right way. So let's review. You want your pulling hand behind the pressure point on your handle and the tip of your blade. You want your blade as far turned as far forward as possible and you want to have it so that your blade is upright in the water through the stroke. Right way. Right way. So my name's Terry Kent. That was a quick tip from Terry that's going to help you look more like a pro, have more fun out there. I'll see you out in the water.